there everyone welcome back to another video well spring is here and guess what's fast approaching spring break it's right around the corner i know it is for our area many of you are going to be hitting someplace tropical and full of sunshine i'm not one of them but regardless if there's one thing that i do love to do is have a little bit of a bronzy glow on i actually self tan year round but i step it up about this time of the year I have had many of you reach out to me recently really wanting a self tanning video. So that's what I'm going to do for you today. Now I have been self tanning for years. I've put many products to the test from drugstore to high end. And if there is one thing that I have found out is that it takes a variety of products to really good, get a good self tanning application. I have found that one product just isn't going to do it all. Not to give me that even look that I'm looking for, the color that looks the most natural that I am looking for, and something that is going to last me for a long time. So I really believe that it is worth investing in a variety of products that work a little bit differently to get the look that you are achieving, trying to achieve. So what I am going to do today, first of all, is I wanna make sure that I share with you, I already have a blog post out there sharing four tips for self tanning. I talk about exfoliating, I talk about moisturizing because there are areas you are definitely gonna to wanna to focus some moisturizer to before hitting those spots or they're gonna get a little bit blotchy looking. I talk about the developing process, I talk about the aftercare, I share different products with you. So today, what I really wanna focus on is products itself, not so much the application and technique. And then I also wanna share with you a little organization tip that I just recently put together to store my self tanning products, especially right now. I do step it up this time of the, of the year. Um, spring and summer, I really vamp it up to get a little bit deeper color than I do maybe in the fall and winter months. So let's dive in, into the products. The first thing that I think is really important is this product that I recently picked up actually to use as a eye makeup remover. It is called Egyptian Magic. It's an all natural cream. They say it's the ancient Egyptian secret. There is a lot of purposes for this Egyptian Magic one of you had recommended it to me to use as an eye makeup remover and I love it. It's kind of got a gel type, it really what it reminds me of almost is a Vaseline type consistency but a little bit more denser and harder. This is what I have been using on those areas of my body like my elbows, my knees, my ankles, areas where your self tanning products can tend to build up and you want to have a little bit of extra moisture there. That is where I've been using this and I've been having great results. So I really do think the Egyptian magic is a must have in everybody's bathroom for, for many reasons. And this would be one of them as well as taking off your eye makeup remover. We're going to move on to a couple gradual tanners that I have really enjoyed over the years. Nothing too intense. They're just going to gradually give you a little bit darker consistency. They're not going to give you that stepped off of a tropical island appearance, but there's something that I think is very imperative to you for you to use in your whole self tanning application process. Again, I said it takes a variety of products. The first one I want to talk about, boy, has this been a big favorite for a long time running with me. It's the Jergens Natural Glow, three days to glow. This is medium to tan skin tones. This is the perfect shade for me. This is a product I will not be without and I always repurchase. It's a great one to apply in the evening after you shower, let it set up for a while, and then you can put your pajamas on and go to bed. It doesn't have the best smell. I believe that all of them over time are going to give a funky smell. That's just my opinion. But this is a great one. And again, I think there is a place for this product in your self tanning arsenal because you're going to need those gradual self tanners that is something like this that also works as a moisturizer. Another one that is very similar is this one here by Palmer's. This is the Cocoa Butter Formula Natural Bronze Body Lotion. It's really going to do the same thing as this. I love them both. I love how this one has the pump. 
I would recommend both of these. If you were going to go with one or the other only, I'd probably go with the Jergens just because I've had such a love for this one. This one is going to smell a little bit better. It's got a pleasant smell. Um, but I don't think it's quite going to give you um, the natural glow that this one would. Jergens has a bigger tube of their gradual self tanner. That's really never given me enough results where this one is going to give you more of the smaller tube. I would say this Palmer's is going to act a little bit more like the larger Jergens bottle. So um, this would be my first pick, but I, but I do enjoy this and I've repurchased it. Moving on to a bronzing mousse. This is a product that has gotten a lot of hype. I do really like it. It's got, it's got a nice pump. Um, I use gloves to apply it. We'll get into those a little bit later. And again, if you read that blog post, you'll hear more about that. This is nice. It's very pricey. I do think there's other products out there that work just as good. So you could save your money, especially if you are somebody who does a lot of self tanning as I do. And you can go up, you can go through products really relatively fast but this does work. It definitely is going to give you a much darker tan than this is. So if you were using this several days a week in the evening and maybe applying this just once or twice a week, you're going to get a really dark, deep color. So again, there, there is a purpose for products like this. I'm going to share with you a much cheaper, more similar item. And that here is the St. Marez instant self tanning lotion. I get the color dark. I have a couple. This one is almost out here. This is going to work a lot like the St. Tropez. It is going to be a little bit cheaper. I also feel like the mousses you're going to go through quicker. There's just something about that mousse consistency. They just, they get used up faster than something like this. This is going to be more of like a lotion type. Um, it is dark. You can see it apply to your skin. Same with this one. These are going to be white when you apply them to the skin. So that's going to be a little different because they're more of a lotion. These ones that are dark colored, you're going to see the application, which is very nice to be able to see that because these are going to give you a darker color and they're not something you're going to want to mess up on. Really been happy with the St. Marez. This one, um, I'd probably pick this one over the St. Tropez just because the price point is a little bit better. So great products there. Again, a purpose for all of these. This one here, I, I'm, I am really, really loving this one. I think everybody really needs this and I'm gonna to explain to you why. It's the Tan Physics True Color Sunless Tanner. This is a great item, not cheap, but one thing I love about this is this is your perfect self tanning product to put on in the morning after you shower. You apply this, again, it is going to be a dark color, so you're going to, you're going to be able to see where you are applying it to your skin. This dries perfectly. The scent is nothing overpowering. In fact, out of all the products I talk about, this one's probably going to leave the least self tanning scent. But the beauty of this is it completely dries. You can get dressed shortly after and it's not going to rub on your clothing and you're going to have a nice deep bronze look for the day. So I love this. Such a purpose for this for sure. Um, will not be without this. Will not be without it. Love that one. Moving on to something that's really going to give you the wow factor. Um, <laughs> and actually it is a product that you would put in one of those spray tan units. And I'm going to be honest with you in my home, we do have one of those tents that you put up with a plug in unit where you can spray tan. It is a salon quality system. We purchased it a long time ago, really loved it. You could step in there and you could have somebody spray tan you. My husband and I used to spray tan each other when we would get ready for trips and different things like that. The problem with that is finding somebody who has the time to spray you. Then you really have to let it process just like you would if you were going to a salon and getting a spray tan. You know, you want to put so, some loose clothing on afterwards for the ride home. You cannot come in contact with water. It's going to work the same way. Well, the funny thing is this Norvell Professional Venetian Plus Sunless Solution is the stuff that we would pour in that unit to spray each other. Well, because it was so hard to find somebody who has the time to spray you, I decided one day just to pour paint um, 
kind of like pans that you would pour paint in because I have one of those that came with a roller that I use for self tanning. Poured this in there, sponged it on myself. So versus being sprayed, it's now being sponged on and I looked just like I had gotten a spray tan. So out of all the products that I talk about, nothing is going to give you that super dark, deep, tropical look than this is, and I love it. And I love to just apply it to myself and sponge it on. It's so much easier. I don't have to burden anybody. There's less cleanup, and it's just a quicker process. Won't be without this. We, have, we always repurchase this. It just works like a charm, but you are going to get very, very dark and deep with this product. So if that's what you're looking for, I think you wanna go there. Moving on to a couple products that I also think there is just a place for. I love this product here by Lorac. It's called Tantalizer. It's a body bronzing luminizer. Now this is not going to give you a tan. That's not the purpose of this. This is what it is. It's a luminizer. And basically what it is going to do is it is going to give you a luminous finish to your skin with a bronzy glow. It's a little bit heavy, so I like to mix this with a moisturizing body lotion. Put some body lotion in my hand, put a pump of this, rub it together, rub it on, and it is just a beautiful finish. But again, you are going to have not a sparkle about you, but it's kind of like when you put highlighter right here on your cheeks and you just have that luminosity, you're going to have that luminosity. I think there is a time and a place for this. I love this product. I think it's just a very unique formula and um, just, just the look that you have at the end is just really something quite, quite unique in itself. The other thing that I can find so many purposes for is the Sally Hansen Airbrush Legs. I love this stuff. What I love about this is it almost, you know, back in the day when, when ladies used to wear pantyhose, if there's one thing you could say about pantyhose is you didn't see any flaws in, in, in your legs because the pantyhose camouflaged that out. Well, <laughs> that is kind of what Sally Hansen Airbrush Legs is going to do. But again, I think it's a little bit much. I think it's almost a little bit too artificial looking, especially if you get in natural light, you can really tell. So this is a perfect product to mix in your moisturizer. If you're going to expose your legs, you're gonna be wearing a skirt, dress, shorts, whatever. You're gonna put a little bit of moisturizer, your body lotion in your hand. You're gonna squeeze some of that mousse in there. You're gonna rub it together. You're gonna to apply it, let it dry, and it just makes your legs look amazing. I love this stuff. Oh, just love it. I bought it in the lotion and I bought it in the mousse and I, I just preferred the mousse in this particular product. So you just never know with me. Sometimes I like lotions, kind of like the St. Marais. I believe you can get this in a mousse as well. But again, what I find out is you use your mousse type products up sooner than you do something uh, like this. But for some reason, when it comes to the airbrush legs, I'm, I'm liking the mousse formula. Now, when it comes to tanning the face, you know, my, my face is never as dark as my body. I just never really achieve that. But again, that's something I have mentioned before. You know, you want to make sure when you're doing your face makeup, you're looking straight on and you're matching your face with like your decollete. People aren't seeing under your neck. You wanna look straight on. But I do have a product that I do love for bronzing the face and tanning the face. And I've been using this for a few years. It goes a long ways. It comes in this little container here. I'm actually almost out. I'm probably gonna repurchase here in the next couple weeks. It's by Clarins and it is called the Radiance Plus Golden Glow Booster. What you do with this is it's it's a very liquidy, I don't know if you can tell in the camera, but it's, it's not like water. It's going to be a little bit thicker consistency and it is a little bit oily, kind of, it'd be kind of like the consistency, I guess you would say of an oil. What you do is you put your moisturizer for your face or a serum, whatever you want to mix it in, in the palm of your hands. You take this off and then you squirt about three or four drops into that moisturizer. And then what you're going to do is rub your hands together like this and you're going to apply it all over your face. And I do that during my PM skincare. So if you were to click down below on my PM skincare, anti-aging PM skincare routine, or my best of beauty skincare, skincare video, you will see where I talk about this product and mention how I use it there as well. So been using it for years. 
it gives you a nice color. You can back off a little bit more or you can add a few more drops, whatever you want to do. For me, three or four and using it every night really helps to give me a nice um, glow to the face, a nice bronze look to the face, and it helps to match up what the color of my body is. So really been happy with that. I've tried some of the drugstore self-tanning products. I've tried things for years, and what I'm sharing with you today are the things that I have found out that I love. I don't have any newcomers that have came out on the market yet this year. I'm always open to suggestions if you have any, but I, these products are the ones that I've really loved, and I did a huge, um, Oh my gosh, like several weeks of testing out products last year. I had a couple products sent to me by companies last year. The products that I'm sharing with you today are the ones that have been the powerhouse performers for me. They have been the ones that I have had the best results with. Um, moving on to something else that I just have loved and I've used this for a long time. I've mentioned this on Snapchat. You know, when you're exposing your shoulders, it's really nice to hit the tops of your shoulders with that little bronze look as if the sun had naturally hit them. So I can't open this because uh, it's broke, <laughs> but I love this Milani Bronzer XL All Over Glow. This comes in a couple different colors. The color that I wear is the 02 Fake Tan. Love this product. What I do is I take this e.l.f. Kabuki face brush I go into it, get some product on, I tap it off, and then I take it and I just go on the tops here of my shoulders all the way up. I don't really have the proper shirt to do it today, but I've, I've shown this in other videos before. So if you just watch, if you watch my videos, you've seen this, but I apply it to the tops of my shoulders and it's just a beautiful look because it looks like the sun just naturally hit them. So love that product. A product or an item that is just such a necessity when you're going to self tan is to have your um, gloves. You want to be wearing gloves. These are my favorite. Link to them below. Not going to go into a lot of detail of them, but I think it's really important because the last thing you want to do is get that orangey look on your hands. So I'm um, wearing gloves no matter if you're using a sponge or a roller or a mitt. I still think that everybody needs to be wearing gloves when they're self tanning. Um, there are tanning mitts out there. I have used tanning mitts. I have tried them out. I They're not my preference, but I know many people love them, so that might be something you want to look into, and I did link a few down below. Um, I prefer using a sponge, and what I prefer to do, especially if I'm using that big jug of Norvell that I showed you, I will pour that in that little paint uh, can thing. I can actually pull that out and show it to you, but I will pour that in there. I'll have my gloves on. I will get some product on, squeeze it out, and then I will start getting it on my skin and rubbing it in and, and kind of just going like that, getting a really nice even, ap even application. Of course, watching the areas where it can build up. But if you use your Egyptian magic, you aren't going to have to worry about that too much. So I do think there's a purpose for a sponge for sure. The other item that I love, sorry for how this looks, is a little trim roller. Love this one here. Why this is so perfect is because you can, again, roll it in your little paint thing and then you can roll it and you can get your back where you cannot reach. So um, there's not always somebody there to apply your product to your back, nor are they gonna probably want to. So this has really came in handy. Did link that as well. Um, always use it to, to do my back. Um, it's, it's kind of hard to use the gradual self tanners like the Jergens or the Palmers to do your back because you can't really put a lotion on here. So when doing my back, I almost always use one of the more liquid or the bronze forms so that I can put it on here and get to the back. So these are all to me pretty big necessities when it comes to um, getting, getting a good self tanning application and having everything that you need to achieve the results you're looking for. So here is the little um, trim paint thing right here. So what you do is you will pour your solution, like the Norvell, I pour it in here, and then I take my little roller brush like this, and I get a little bit of that product on, but it's really liquidy. So then you wanna kind of bring this up here and make sure you get some of that out because you don't want it dripping, and then you're going to go down your back and do your rolling. The other thing that I would do if I'm using my sponge, is I don't have it in my hand right here, but I would take the sponge, get some of the product on it, bring it up here and scrunch it down to get some of that out so that it falls back in there and then start sponging uh, the stuff on me. Well, now we're gonna go on a little tour. I just recently, um, I had mentioned this past week on Snap, I had picked up this rolling cart unit because 
I'm starting to get a little bit more products than what I can really house in my bathroom. That just kind of happens when you when you are a beauty blogger and, and you're a product junkie. <laughs> we just have a lot of stuff, what can we say? And especially right now that I am getting heavily into the self-tanning season, I thought this cart would be perfect where I could just roll it into my bathroom. I have all of my products there. I don't have to have everything in my drawer, especially having everything out when you've got those gloves on and you're in self-tanning. You don't want to be grabbing cabinets and drawers. So we're going to go on a little tour. I'm going to show you my new little cart that I got. You're going to see a lot of my skincare products in there. I am not going to link everything that's in this cart in the corresponding blog post or down below because you can just click on those videos or those blog posts and all those products are going to be in there for you. Um, and I already have the self tanning stuff, but I, I wanted to share with you because I know you guys are like me. You love to hear how other people organize. So let's go on a little tour. All right. Now this is new to me, but there is the rolling cart unit. I think if I walk towards it, I don't know if it will focus with this type of lens. Uh, Photography is so new to me guys, so be patient, but I did link this cart below and um, I did also link some additional ones that you can look at. You can see that on the top shelf, and I will move in closer in a minute, on the top shelf we do have um, my skincare products. The second shelf I have a little um, makeup carrying case. I will put my PM skincare routine products in there if I am going to uh, do my uh, PM skincare routine on the road as I do sometimes. If you follow me on Snapchat, you know all about that and I've actually shared myself doing it in the car in route to coming home because when I get home from someplace, I like to just jump in bed and if my skincare routine is done, I get to do that. Bottom shelf is where I'm carrying all the uh, self-tanning products that I shared with you today. So I love it. It's on wheels. I can roll it in. I'll show you a couple different other angles. Uh, just there you can see the top shelf. Um, there is a whole arsenal. <laughs> I actually even have a couple little plastic uh, units set inside there that I put, for instance, my um, cotton rounds in. You can see my nighttime Clarisonic is in there. Uh, just lots of goodies. Again, you can get to all of those by clicking on the blog post and the YouTube video that I put uh, down below. So if you're interested in that, if we move down to the second shelf, if any of this is coming out blurry, I apologize. Again, this is all very new to me um, and I'm just holding my camera. <laughs> but there's the second row. Those black things to the left, that is, um, there's a little container there and it has my black uh, nighttime um, uh, washcloths behind the little caboodles bag, which that is old. I probably picked that up at Walmart or Target. You can always look for those. Um, behind there is some eye masks and different masks, the ones that I shared, like the Rolex and Lift. Um, those boxes are just behind that. And then again, um, hopefully this is focusing. Uh, that is the um, self-tanning stuff. Again, trying to give you a little bit more of a bird's eye view here of what is up in the top part. Um, yeah, I love this cart though. They do have these carts uh, at Ikea um, in a cute little turquoise color, but I... Um, I just got this one from Amazon. So there's the second row, and that would be the bottom. You can see the gloves are on the left. All the products are housed in there. There's some yucky gloves <laughs> laying in there that um, I currently have been using, and because I do, I reuse my gloves. I don't, I don't throw away, when I use a pair of gloves, I don't throw them away. I reuse them until they get really bad or ripped. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with recycling. But anyway, everything is in there, so, uh, that is the rolling cart. Well, box. there you have it. I hope you enjoyed checking out my self tanning products. I love a good tan in a can. That is the best way to do it, safe tanning, and I've been at it for years, and I, I feel like I really nailed it down. Don't forget to check out those four tips, though. You're going to learn a lot there, and I share, I'm share. i going to be showing you a lot of the same products in that blog post. Very important to check that out. But glad you could join me today. Don't forget that everything that I'm wearing, I always link. Um, I link my jewelry, my top if it's available. Always link those things for you. I'm so glad that you joined me. Don't forget, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, my website. I'm on on all social media. Share with me what you would like to see next. Let me know if you have any tanning products that you would love to tell us ladies about, and I'll see you in the next video.